a couple of things I should elaborate on. When you use this advanced ESP test, set it for the following categories to get them to work. Go um, and make sure that you're present when they do this. Um, set it for clairvoyance, open, blind, and 25. Do not let them know if you're a skeptic or not because that might inadvertently fuck up their system. But also here's the other thing. Uh, again, don't, as I said before, don't let them go over 50 trials because your computer will be working on a pseudo-random pattern and uh, they might figure it out at that point. And blind will basically uh, minimize uh, sensory feedback. Also, here's the big kicker. If a professional psychic, if you're going to a clairvoyant or somebody who claims to be clairvoyant or, te um, you know, or psychic like that, and they refuse to take this test before you go with them, get the hell out of there. Chances are they're a fraudulent cold reader. It's one of the biggest techniques you can tell off the bat. Okay? Anyone who is willing to take the test and passes it, and if the uh, overall database is statistically significant, um, uh, as well as the uh, individual psychic, uh, otherwise it's just cherry picking significant data out of a bunch of chance data, then you have a shot that that per particular psychic is uh, really what they claim to be, and it's worth going for them for a reading. Toodles.